The quickest way to download software from Cisco is to point your browser at software.cisco.com and that will take you to Cisco Software Central and after you log in you'll go ahead and choose software download. Okay, I'm on software.cisco.com and I want to go ahead and download our ASA software. So I'm just going to type ASA into the search bar and in my case I want the ASA virtual appliance so I'll scroll down to that and here we see Adaptive Security Virtual Appliance or ASAV and I want the software which will actually have the device manager in it and always uh, again pick the recommended release here with the gold star now since I will be installing this in VMware I'm going to choose the VMware build here and go ahead and click download Let's download our AnyConnect images from Cisco.com. So I've logged into software.cisco.com and I just searched for the word AnyConnect and you can see I'm in the AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client 4.x download page uh, where I have all the images and of course the latest release will always be indicated here on the left. Now for any uh, packages that you are going to install on your ASA or Firepower Threat Defense head end those will always end with this uh, package PKG uh, header here, or a file name here. So here we see the Linux package, and then of course we have our uh, Mac OS package, and lastly our Windows package uh, somewhere here. Here it is. So you'll want to uh, go ahead and download those packages to your local system. Now I will point out um, use of these packages does require a uh, AnyConnect Apex Plus or VPN only license. Okay, now let's go ahead and install our ASAV. So I've logged into my uh, vSphere uh, vCenter and I'm going to deploy an OVF template and choose local file and this will be where I choose the files that I just downloaded uh, from Cisco.com that ASAV uh, file zip and I'm going to go ahead and shift select all these files. Now since I'm deploying from vCenter, I'm going to use the files that end with the VI. If you were deploying this from vSphere directly, like you didn't have vCenter, you would use, uh, instead of those two VI files, you'd use the two ESXi files. So click open and then next and I'll go ahead and give it a name. Uh, now I already have two ASAVs deployed so I'm adding a third one. The steps will be exactly the same if you're in deploying a standalone instance and go ahead and choose my cluster and which host I would like this deployed upon okay so uh, go ahead, click next accept next and I'm installing an ASA v10 just for demonstration purposes uh, the v30 and the v50 of course have much more scale installation instructions are identical and go ahead and pick uh, which disk I'm going to deploy this on. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose that one's got quite a bit of space. And my interfaces. Okay, finally my settings for my VM. This is going to be standalone. And choose routed and give it a management IP address. And we're not using HA, set a default route, and our DNS settings. So in this case, we're going to use our internal DNS server. Okay, and here we want our smart license token. So I'm going to go over to Software Central and to my smart licensing tenant. Choose inventory in the tenant I want to withdraw the licenses from. In this case, I'll just choose new token. A say V10. OK. 
Okay. Show that token, copy it to my clipboard, and go back to vCenter, and I can paste that in here. Now I can also do that later, it doesn't matter. Uh, Smart Call Home's fine. This is all fine. We'll leave default settings here. I do like SSH enabled. I'll go ahead and put in an administrator username and password. And we're not using HA. And click Next. Finish. And that's all there is to it. Now once that uh, VM is deployed, I'll go ahead and uh, start it up and we'll access it via ASDM.